Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm back with another hair review. I stayed in my robe y'all cause I was mad about how this came out. Like it came out like it was supposed to, but it didn't because I didn't let the hair dry long enough. So the hair is still damp, but yeah. I didn't even feel like changing into another outfit cause I'm just so upset. But anywho, today's video is sponsored by Eunice Hair. They were kind of to send me over this body wave unit that I attempted to do the robe curls on. Um, it works. The robe curls work. I just, you know, people sleep in them overnight and I didn't have time for all that and I set up under the dryer and I guess I didn't sit up under there long enough because they weren't dry. We might attempt this again in the future. But let's just jump right into it. We're gonna start with the unboxing. So this is the box that it came in. It was a little beat up, but that's okay. As long as my wig is fine. Right on top is your wig. It is 24 inches body wave unit. Also inside the box was a new wig cap. They also sent some lashes, some duckbill clips. I've been loving all the duckbill clips I've been getting from these companies because I showed need them. They also sent this cute little scarf. I actually got this in a video that I just did. I have the same scarf. So it's the same one. I got it twice. And yeah, that's what was in the box. Now let me show y'all the wig. So this is the wig straight out of the box. It came inside of a hairnet. This is the construction on her. She's a 13 by 4 lace frontal. Two combs in the front, comb in the back, lace in the back, and adjustable strap. And then this is the pattern on her. Like I said, body wave. And then I try to show y'all the hairline. The hairline actually doesn't look bad at all. Really don't have to do anything to it. I barely plucked anything out of it but I did pluck it but yeah that is the unboxing so now I'm gonna show y'all the install and styling portion um like what is there looks good but it would have looked better if it dried the way it was supposed to like this section right here y'all see this one if they all look like this then I would have been satisfied but anywho if you want to see the install and styling portion and then my review on this unit then keep on watching
All right, y'all, let's get into these robe curls. Super quick and easy, let's get to it. So I'm gonna take the hair down while the lace is drying. I sprayed it one more time, we got to be sprayed. So while that is drying, we're gonna do this. I need the, the belt off the robe, but I can't take mine off cause my stuff gonna be out. I have another robe, I think with a thick enough belt. Hold on, and I do, here we go. Okay, and I want to do this on a body wave unit cause y'all know body wave unit whole curls. Well, so perfect unit to try this with. All right, so let's part her first. I'm doing a middle part. Okay, boom, we got our part. I'm gonna hot comb it. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know what's going on right here, but it's like the knots were trying to be bleached and got bleach on the hair right here because it's brown right here on the roots. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I can. Do y'all want more talk through videos? I don't usually talk through my wig videos. I feel like they're pretty self-explanatory. Like, I should be spraying, got to be sprayed. Or I just do the same routine that I've already explained. So I don't explain it in any more videos. But if y'all want me to talk through my videos, let me know. Cause I know I don't do that. I just ain't really found it necessary. But if that'll be helpful, then please let me know. I don't know why I'm doing this because we're gonna have to go back over it with the hot comb when we're done, make everything flat and get rid of the flyaways. Now these are supposed to be heatless, but I mean, I need to hot comb the roots. So the curls will be heatless, but okay, let's do this. So I'm just gonna part down the middle and just separate on both sides. And then the hair is supposed to be a little bit damp. So I'm gonna take my spray bottle, just water and just kind of lightly mist her. Okay, and I'm just gonna brush that through. And I think this is all that people do, is like just make the hair a little damp and then do it. But I kind of feel like I should put some mousse on it just for a better hold because I know everybody that's been doing it is like, oh, you just, you know, take the robe, the belt on the robe and wrap it around and go to sleep and let it dry overnight. But I don't have time for that. So I'm gonna sit under my hooded dryer. So I don't know if me not letting it sit for hours and hours will affect anything. Like, cause I didn't sleep, like let the curls sit like that overnight. So I think I should put some mousse on it for some extra holes. That's what I'm gonna do. Still heatless. I'm just using some extra product. So I'm taking my lot of body, which I know about this. Yeah, taking my lot of body foaming mousse and I'm not gonna put a lot of this because I know the hair is just supposed to be damp so I'm not gonna put like a whole lot but just enough just a little bit more for good measure for good measure all right, now all that's left to do is wrap it around this thing. So let's see how well this works. So all you do, put it right here. And I've seen some people take like one of these clips to hold this in place. This one's too big. I'm gonna take this smaller one. Cause this one, you see how big it is? I'm gonna do this one. So just put it right here on my head. Clamp it right there. And then I, think I feel like the hair is drying already. I feel like I need to put some more loose or something. I'm gonna put some up. Okay, so all you do, take a section right here, wrap it around, grab some more, wrap again, can y'all see what I'm doing? Grab some more, wrap again. And then what I've been seeing people do when they get to this point, they start like basically braiding. So when you get back around here, you start taking sections from this side, like the back side, not from the front. Start taking it, start taking sections from there. I feel like something is out of place and it's not gonna turn out right. Okay, let's see. They said when you get down by your ear, which is where I am, and basically start braiding, because you got three strands now, the two groups of hair and then the belt. So you get up under here and what? Do you grab more hair from this way? I don't know, whatever child. This is too much. And all these strands keep getting mixed in with the other groups. I guess I just keep braiding down. All right, so I'm at the end now. So I've been seeing people take it and tie it right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know how this gonna turn out, y'all. I thought this was gonna be, I should've just kept twisting, just doing the whole twisting thing instead of braiding when you get to the ear, cause everybody didn't do it like that. But there's that side.
All right, y'all. So I'm gonna sit under the dryer, let it dry, and I'll be back. And I gotta fix my makeup right here. But yeah, all right, y'all. Let's take them down. I hope it's dry. Like it's still a little Y'all, they was still damp. It ain't gonna be right now. It looked like it kind of worked right here though. They would have been cute if they was all the way dry. So it works. They ain't all the way dry and I'm tired of waiting. See, it looks really good right here. This section right here, that one looks good. But yeah, the hair was still a little damp, but it turned out cute, I guess. Uh, I don't even wanna post this cause it, don't, it ain't giving like I wanted it to. Anyway, well, that was my failed attempt at robe curls. That was supposed to be so easy. I mean, it is. It's just, I didn't wait long enough for it to dry, but yeah. Okay, that's it for the install and styling. We're done here, goodbye. All right, y'all, that was the install and styling portion. Of course, I fail at the easiest hairstyle that probably ever was, but it's just because I didn't let it dry long enough. I did it right, I just didn't let it dry. But yeah, anywho, so let me give y'all my thoughts on this unit. So she is big hair friendly, no problems there. The lace, very easy to work with. Didn't have any issues with that. I got it to match, got it to melt, all that. No issues there. Also, the knots on this unit are very small. And like I said in the install and styling portion, I think this is pre-plucked and the knots were supposed to be bleached. I don't know what happened right here, but it's like brown the hair is brown right here at the root and i don't know if the bleach got on it or something but yeah but the knots are very small so i didn't even have to bleach the knots so that was good i like that i will say this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal it is giving me my four inches of space this way but this way um it did not go all the way to my ears on both sides so uh, i don't know about it being 13 ear to ear tangling isn't an issue we haven't had any issues with that shedding either what else i'm not sure what the density is on this unit let me see Okay, it's 150% density and I feel like it's full enough. Yeah, I feel like it's full enough, especially to be 150%. I feel like it is full enough. So no problems there. Inches, I don't even feel like thinning up y'all because I'm just so blowed by this, but I guess I will. So this is where it stops at on me. I'm 5'3". It stops right, kind of right above my hip-ish. So yeah, it's giving 24 inches. It don't look bad. It just looks like a loose wave kind of right now, but mm, I just wanted it to be better. That's my fault. I ain't let it dry just being fast and impatient. But yeah, um, the hair is really soft. It's cute, like it's a cute unit. I just screwed it. I don't have time to redo it, fix it, none of that. So we're just gonna have to take it like it is. It doesn't look bad, like, you know, you could go out like this. But when you know how it was supposed to come out, then it's like, it don't look good to you. But no one else would know because they'd be like, oh, your hair is like a loose wave. No, it was supposed to be curls. But yeah, so overall, I'm gonna give this unit a nine out of 10. Like I said, it didn't go all the way to my ears on both sides. So um, that was the only issue I had with it. But other than that, she's cute. She's, she's a nice little unit so thank you again to Eunice hair for sponsoring this video if you want to purchase this unit for yourself the link will be down in the description box as always and always be sure to check for a coupon code because there usually is one let me make sure yeah you can use the code my Eunice to get 10 percent off of your order so always check the description box for codes if i don't mention it in the video because there usually is one so yeah but um that's it y'all that is it for this video that's all i got for y'all i'm gonna try this again in the future and i'm gonna let it dry i'm gonna do right i thought it would have been dry all the way but i guess it wasn't i guess that's why everybody was doing no, I was sleeping it overnight, but I'm pretty sure it will work if you sat under a hooded dryer if you just sit under it long enough. But yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel, please. I promise y'all can do better than this. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Wait, hold on, because it's actually kind of cute while I'm sitting here clowning it. It still didn't dry all the way, but it's still pretty cute. But okay.